Okay, and up next, let's talk about dependency array and how we can have multiple use effects in our application. So in the app.js, we want to navigate to 0, 3, and multiple effects. And once we navigate to this file, you'll see use state, you'll see use effect, and essentially two state values. This is the case where I didn't see the point of creating all of this from scratch. There's only so many times when creating a button and a state value is useful. And notice over here, we have two heading ones in the JSX with two buttons. And guess what? Pretty much every time we'll click, we'll update that state value. And let's start with the simple fact that, yes, you can have as many use effects in your component as you want. So pretty much you can set up a use effect for every smallest feature. Now, just because you can doesn't mean you should. And again, I'm going to return to the point that at the very end of this section, I'll show you a very useful resource, which is going to cover all of these cases in more detail. So please be patient. For now, just remember, just because you can have like 10 use effects in your component doesn't mean that you should do that. And essentially, if I go here with the first use effect, if I uncomment, we'll see that basically, once I refresh, there is initial load, right? So this is where we'll have that console log and all that. And then pretty much every time we'll update the state values, I mean, we'll see nothing in the console. And the same deal, we can set up another use effect that also is going to run only when the application loads. And again, I can keep clicking all day long and I'll only see those two logs in the console. So that covers multiple use effects. Yes, you can have them in the component. Doesn't mean that you can only have one use effect. Now, also, let's talk about this dependency array. Notice how when it's empty, it only runs when the component mounts, correct? But we can provide values over here. So if I'm going to go here with value, which essentially is my first one, you'll notice that not only this use effect runs when the component mounts, and again, for that, I'll have to refresh, but also when we update this value. So this is already very powerful, where not only this functionality is invoked on the mount, but also when we're clicking on the first button. However, it's not going to happen if we click on the second one. It's only going to happen if I add the second value over here. Yes, at that point, we'll have a log when we click on the first one, as well as the second one. And as you can see, this is very powerful stuff, since I can have one use effect for one value, and then the second one is going to be for the second one. And you can probably already guess that the first one is only going to show up if we click over here. And then the second one is going to be when we click on a second button. And of course, you're not limited to the amount of values you can pass over here. You can start with empty dependency array, and then you can have three, five, or whatever. So that, again, really depends on situation. Just keep in mind a few things. First, you can have multiple use effects. Again, I'm not saying you should, but you can. And then the second one is the dependency array where we can pass multiple values. And every time that value is going to change, we will invoke the functionality inside of the callback function one more time.